Hi everybody, uh, I wanted to make a quick video that showed the Vue DevTools extension uh, that makes it easier to work with Vue and uh, it integrates into DevTools, so it's an area where you're hopefully kind of already working with anyway. Uh, but I wanted to make a quick video just showing some of the features, not all of them, but just a couple of them uh, to entice you to actually install it. In case you are curious, uh, it is supported in Chrome and Firefox, but apparently there is a workaround for Safari. All right, so let's begin with a super simple example. All right, so I have kind of like a brain dead simple view example here. I have a uh, input field that has a model of name and I am iterating over an array of cats. You could see the data down here and I'm really doing nothing more than that. Let's take a look at how, how this shows up in the view dev tools. So one kind of quick uh, thing to note is that even in console, uh, view dev tools will like announce itself to say that it's, it's running. And if I switch to the view tab and I make this a little bit bigger, I can begin kind of inspecting my view application. If I select my component, I see that I have access to all the data in here. And what's cool is that I can actually modify the data. So I'll go ahead and change this name to add some text to it. And we can see it shows up there. And obviously if I edit here, it'll actually uh, update in DevTools as well, which is pretty cool. I can look at my array data and which is kind of neat because I'm not actually showing everything over here. I'm just showing a name, but I could see the age data as well. And I can go in here and I can edit this live as well. And not only that, I can erase something from the array or actually add something. Now this has to be valid JSON and DevTools will give me live feedback to let me know uh, when I do have uh, valid JSON. I'll go ahead and make it match the others by adding an age and boom, there we go. That's pretty cool. Uh, something kind of neat about this, if I switch to a computed property and I'll show you that code first, uh, all I've done here is switch to a, a new name, old cats, and I've written a little bit of logic to say only return cats that are over 10 years old. If I go into DevTools, view DevTools, what you'll see is it actually recognizes uh, that there is a computed property here, which is pretty cool. And because it's computed, I can't actually modify it, which makes sense. If I go in here and actually edit one of my cats, let's make uh, Robin be a little bit older. We'll make him 50 years old, which is pretty darn old, uh, we'll see that he shows up immediately, which is really neat. Now, in these examples, I've just been working with data that's actually in my browser, I'm sorry, in my code, so not terribly realistic. If we were to switch to something that was using a remote API, like the Star Wars API, for example, uh, having access to this data could be really useful because I may not know about all these particular properties and the data, uh, but having it here will help me debug and do you know whatever I need to. And I could also modify it, you know, even though it's not my data, it's from an API, I can go in here and say a new hope, 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 and see it updated, which I think is pretty darn cool. So uh, one thing to note, I've only had one component so far. So if I were to actually have some more components, and I'll show you a quick example of that. Uh, I've defined a component here called cat uh, with a simple little template, and I'm just kind of showing part of the cat data. You can see me using cat up here. If I run this now, this is demo three, notice how the uh, the unique new components are rendered. And I can actually see the properties passed in as well, which is pretty cool. Now I'm gonna skip Vuex and talk about events because events is not really documented well uh, back on the webpage, uh, I'm sorry, for the GitHub repo for the extension. 
events is only for custom events emitted by custom components. So I thought it would render any event that Vue was working with. So if I did like at click uh, on something, I, I thought events would handle that. It does not. So you could see here, uh, I tried a simple example where I added the click event to my uh, template for the cat and nothing showed up. In order for you actually to see that particular feature, your component itself has to emit an event. So this is still kind of useful, but again, it, it wasn't obvious to me uh, in terms of how this actually worked. And if we look at this, you'll see it, index2.html, and I will click and notice that the tab actually updates, which is kind of neat. So you kind of know, oh, you know, something is going on here. And if I look uh, at the events now, I could see them and I could actually see the payload of the event, which I think is pretty darn cool. Now for the last example, uh, I will show you a Vuex example. Uh, I built a stock game, which essentially used the Vuex to store data about the stocks in terms of their prices and uh, how much stock you held and all that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reload this, kind of start from scratch, open up DevTools and look at my Vuex and you get a lot of data. So I can look at the state within there, my cache and all that. And when things happen on my store, I can actually look at those changes. Now this, this uh, demo normally updated every two seconds. I load it down to every 10 seconds or so, so it wouldn't be so crazy, but I can actually see these events kind of firing. Um, and I could actually go backwards in time. You see the reverts and the time travels and all that, and that, that's freaking cool. If I do something custom, like buy some shares of IBM, we could see that buy stock event, we could see the values for that. Let me go back up. Uh, and again, this, this is just really freaking neat. Also kind of cool uh, for Vuex is that you can actually export the uh, state and it copies it to clipboard and I could come back later and import that to kind of reset myself back to where I was when I was testing. Uh, but again, uh, really, really freaking cool. There's probably more to this that I'm not showing. Definitely check it out. Definitely worthwhile adding to your browser.